involved in the community, everybody chips in, is very concerned. We all love this. Not just Chicanos, by the way. We get, from all over San Diego, we get support on it. Once every 10 years or so, we do get some reactions, like the graffiti that happens here or there, like Mi Gracil, Raza No, and they may spell it on, you know, on purpose. Like, we're stupid, you know? <laughs> no way, Josephine. So, so these are uh, different images uh, that, uh, that reflect, like I said, our own uh, history, but maybe our own thoughts, our own, our own particularly uh, connection with certain part of the, our story. You know, our story is not only the one that we're making today or from recent history, but it goes back hundreds of years from our still going on Aztec and Mayan and Inca uh, 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 stories that like, like that return of Quetzalcoatl, that's been so strong with us. The fact that this area is called Aslan, that, that has a strong meaning to us and is growing as generations go. That's why it's important for us to write this story, to document it in every way, because still the regular schools are not teaching contemporary history. This is something that we still have to fill the vacuum from. What else? The paints that we use are acrylic. They're water-based. They are uh, limited in its, in its durability, especially with the sun that it gets directly. In the 70s, we were using this paint that was not as powerful as the one we're using today. So we know that this uh, latest, like this has gone already through a renovation and it's been coated because a lot of them haven't been coated. They're painted and they should be uh, varnished, but they're exposed, making them more vulnerable. And so, and so the, 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 the technology is getting good, but we still need to, like I said, use more durable materials. So the, the tile mural hasn't been done yet. Who knows, I still might be the first at that one too. And Quetzalcoatl, the image of Quetzalcoatl, the plume serpent, which returns to Aslan every 500 years. The family casting the shadow of La, the Huelga Eagle, where it's our movement. Cesar Chavez, uh, you know, brought it from the fields onto the urbans and that urban areas, and that's how we got involved here in the late 60s. And uh, the bridge is always a symbol of our of our belonging to this area. The bridge, something that was meant to uh, destroy us, oppress us, uh, smash us, uh, like the Gulliver story in which the little people made the giant become their, their friend, something that they thought it was gonna be the enemy. And we love the bridge now. A lot of people do, and you, people, there's a lot of people haven't visited Chicano Park yet, but they, have, they know it exists because they see it from the freeway. Considering that it's true, some of the outside walls that faces the freeway do need some touches. Graffiti has gotten on that side, and sometimes people might feel like they're not welcome here because it looks a little aggressive with the with the graffiti. So the work is not done. You know, we still we're still working at it, and uh, we're going to we're polishing it up little by little. Okay. All right. So we started painting at Chicano Park in 1973 in those uh, on the side of the freeway over there. And then we knew that we were gonna paint the rest of Chicano Park. It's a lot of pillars here. I for sure haven't counted them all, but there's quite a few here between here and the waterfront. So I knew that perhaps we were gonna need help. So I was giving the uh, task from CACA to, to take the word the gospel of Chicano Park and the movement out to the world. So I started to paint in the barrios here, the nearby barrios, like a murals are surrounded here. We all did, me and the other artists, were, we were painting in our surroundings, but then I decided to take, to, to, to do a, a state journey, and I started to go up and down the state. We went first to LA, Los Angeles, and there we met with uh, Clavo at Strata Courts, in East Strata Courts, we have a mural there. We painted a mural de Aslan in 1974, in, in February 1974. And I've come back since then and I painted other murals there. But this created our, our connection with the LA artists of East LA and we invited them. So we went, painted a mural there in January, February. So by April of that year, 1974, they came down and painted here a couple, 
three pillars. One painted by Los Angeles, by his group, the Vista LA Strata Courts. The other one was painted from, from a group from Santana. And then when we were painting it, uh, there was the, uh, a situation in which one of the artists from LA decided to do a tribute to Allende and and, uh, and, and, his, and, his, and, his, and his, his his martyrdom. So he painted a mural across the street there dedicated to the Allende uh, tragedy and, and so on. Then by 1975, we went to Sacramento, met with them, and we painted a mural in, uh, in San Francisco in the Balmy, Balmy Alley. And then so Sacramento, they came in 1975 and painted two more pillars here. All sides, all, all four sides. And that's how we hope to do, connecting with other artists and inviting artists to come and paint with us. What's the name of this one? This one here particularly is based from the story pillar we painted in 1975. What Sacramento was painting over there, this pillar was available. So I, I took the lead on that with the rest of the CAC members. And this just is supposed to represent the symbolism of the sleeping giant. The, 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 the story of the sleeping giant is, is the earth waking up after 500 years of repression and, 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 uh, and, uh, and subjugation. And now he stands up, he's free himself, and he's picking up, holding the weight of the world, picking up and holding up the bridge, holding up our, our park. And that's why it's, we call it Colossus. Is it a self-portrait? Perhaps. Uh, it was not my intention, but I needed a model. And so I start with myself. It's much easier. So, plus, I, I guess with that, it's not an ego trip, or it's not grandizing myself, but it's projecting that we are all the people. We are all Chicanos. We are all community. So, and so I put myself there, and I, I've been living up to it. I haven't left. I'm still here have the school and I plan to perhaps die here too, you know? Almost did recently. Oh uh, yeah, I was painting a mural in 1976 and some guys pulled the uh, the ladders from under me and I came crashing down and I broke up in different places, could have died, you know? Yeah, it's not an easy job, but somebody's gotta do it, right? And I'm loving doing it. <laughs>